Okay, guys. So I have my uh, resin. This is it. I uh, bought it on Wish.com. Then I have little, really little, tiny little silicon cups. Also, Wish.com. Because someone said uh, in a comment, Wish.com is evil. <laughs> <laughs> and I agree with that. Yeah, that's such an evil website. It's really evil because um, the thing is that when you get on there, you see so many things you you really want that it's uh, it's really annoying because you know it almost costs nothing, and then you click on it, put it in your little cart, and again and again and again, and before you know it. You got like for 50 bucks of stuff that, if you think about it, do we really need it? I don't know, but it's fun to have, right? And uh, that's usually what I do. That's when I'm sitting on the couch and uh, watching TV with my husband. And I go through Wish.com and I see all this stuff that I really, really like. But, ew. That comes off really bad. You can't, can almost not get that off. Well, I'll have to poke a hole in it. That's what I usually do. Just poke a hole in it. There we go. Okay. It'll work. So, what I'm planning on doing is first, I need a base. So, it has to have a little bit of color. So, I'm going to put a little bit of this stuff in here. Not too much, though. Because I'm, I have to build it up. I'll have to do three or four layers, I think. So then I'm going to put in... And for, for coloring resin, the best you can have is the fluid acrylics. Because you don't want that really... Um, the really thick stuff. Because then it, it won't, you know, get in there like you want it to. And this is never going to come out. <laughs> okay. Guys, you're going to see me messing around a lot. Because this I've never done before. See that? That isn't going to come out. You can do whatever you want with it, but it's not coming out. And I don't want to put too much in in, the, in there. So I'm going to use a little uh, brush. Let's see. I don't want a very expensive brush. What's this? Oh, no, that's not a good brush. I'll just take one of these really cheap ones. Okay, now it's kind of coming out. But what I'm doing is doing a base and this should look like um, the sand, sand in the sea. But I need a bit more or it's not going to work. And um, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking this is a good test to see if we can even put this um, acrylic paint in the UV resin. Uh, as I thought, I'll have to do a couple of layers because this is like not going to be covering at all. Oops, put my finger in it. What else is new? Okay. Now, what I do need is to have the bottom part <coughs> has to be more covered because that's going to be covered less with. Eh, we'll just see what happens. Put that in there. Oh, that's my phone. Let's see. Oh, no, we want that one. And we turn it on. Now, this is this is a really neat thing to have because it has a timer on it with 120 seconds and that's exactly what they say well <laughs> i was going to show you the label and tell you what it says on the label but let's not do that right <laughs> because i can't read chinese or japanese or whatever it is but i know it's 120 uh, minute uh, seconds bef when it's uh, cured so we'll just let the uh, timer do its thing. And I'm, I'm going to put a um, another layer on top. Because I want it to be really opaque. I should watch out that the light doesn't hit it or I won't be doing anything. 
Okie dokie. So that is nice and smooth. And I can put another layer on top and hope that it turns really opaque like. But I'm going to test it first because um, we want to know that it really cures well. Because if it doesn't, if it stays really sticky, then um, we have to go to plan B. Don't know what plan B is, but <laughs> I'll come up with something. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of 120 seconds. I haven't been keeping... Uh, I don't have a clock, so I'm hoping the timer really works. Well... <laughs> it's not... Come on. That's been 120 seconds, right? Oh, yeah. It okay now we have to test it. Meh, looks good. So next layer. I'm not too worried about the back, but I am worried about the front because that's where the beach is gonna be. <clears throat> okay, that's good enough, right? Put a little up here. Okay, oops, maybe a little down there. Okay, that looks good. Now, um, I want a little bit of sand, so I'm going to put a little itty bitty sand in there, whoops, and I'm going to spread that out just a little bit, a little bit more, okay, that's the sand. But I'm thinking maybe I need to add a little bit more because okay that's it then we're going to add more resin on top of it not sure if that's going to work but we'll see Making it smooth and making sure that nothing goes over the side because we don't want that. Okay, next. Go, baby, go! Now, um, I think I'll stop the video for a bit because I'm going to clean this brush off. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it cured and I cleaned off everything and as you can see it's nice and uh, hard. Now we're going to add the ocean color, only the thing is it's too opaque. So if you're going to do this, what you need is something that isn't as opaque as I'm putting on now because that is too opaque. I'm trying to be really careful with it. So there it goes. Oh, it's all really tiny. You got to be really careful with how you put it on. Okay, that's it. 
But like I said, if you're going to do this, try to get something that's really transparent because uh, that's the deal. That looks a lot better than this, but I'm going to just do with it. So I'm just going to work with it. Where's my paper? So I'm going to clean off my brush again <coughs> because now we're going to put on the uh, the little frothy things, froth frothy sea things. But I need something that is really transparent. So I'm going to get my Vallejo transparent. That's zinc white. You have titanium white and you have zinc white. Titanium is opaque. Zinc is transparent. So then we're going to put a little drop in there, oops, not too much, and then put the resin in. That's that. Ooh, and I need uh, my toothpick because I have to make those little wavy things. It's really, really opaque kind of. Maybe I'm just putting too much... Uh, too much paint in there could be so smoothing it out and I have more of this resin on the way so I can waste a little I'm just not hoping that it's gonna take six weeks to get here there we go Ooh, there's something thickening up in there see that don't know what that is. I'll have to take that out or it's going to ruin the pendant. Okay, let's get that out. Don't know what that is. A little gooey stuff. Okay, pendant is ready. Now, we're going to put on this layer. But this one we're going to put on really thin. Ah, I can see right through it, so this one is kind of uh, transparent. It has to work, right? There it goes. And the blue is shining through, so that's nice. Okay. And now comes the effect that I'm looking for. So I'm going to get myself a little new little cup and put some resin in here. And put that on here and let's see if we can do this effect. Yeah, it's working. See that looks like a little bit of frothy sea. Making them a little bit smaller towards the uh, the shore like that. And then of course we want a little bit of foamy stuff going along there. There it is. So let's put it back in. 
and let that cure. And I was going to put in a little shell. I might, yeah, I can still do that. Looking for my tweezers. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> See, these are tweezers that I bought on wish.com. Also, they were one euro and I think two euros for sending them, and you get six. But if I open them like that, if I open them, they will be totally ruined. But I'm going to put in a little shell. I think this one. I like that little shell. Next time I'm going to go to the islands, I'm going to go for a lot of these little shells. Because there were a lot of them, but I thought, you know, they're too tiny. What can I do with them? But I'm thinking I can do a lot with them. So I'm going to go find a lot of these tiny shells. Now, it would be nice if it was ready already. So I can do the next layer. But we also want a little glitter. Okay, my, my stash of glitter. I am really a glitter person. I really have to con constrain myself sometimes not to do glitter on every single thing I see. But I think this will work out really nice. And as you can see, I'm so... so strange because these are the same glitters let's see glitter yeah they are exactly the same <laughs> i'm always afraid i don't have enough glitter okay look at that cute huh okay now i'm gonna put a little shell on the beach i i would really like even a smaller smaller ones but I don't have even smaller ones, do I? Yeah, but they're round. Oh no, here's a really tiny one. That's a really tiny, tiny, tiny little shell. Oh, <gasps> this one's really tiny. Look at that. That is the tiniest little shell I've ever seen. Okay, put that one in there too. So two little shells on the beach. Is that pretty? Nah, not really. I don't think it's that pretty. Let's not put shells on. Who's crazy? Because I just uh, received a, um, um, a, a SMS of work. Well, oh yeah, here. <laughs> Someone's teaching me how to say salutable. Let's see. Soluble. Soluble. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> I love it when you guys do that. Well, not always, but <laughs> most of the time. You know, the Vallejo, I've given up on Vallejo, guys, because I had six million people <laughs> tell me how to, how to do that. But, you know, sometimes you just have to give up. Okay, I'm putting on the last finish. There we go. And I don't want it to spill over, so I'm going to heat it up a little bit. Eh, that doesn't help much. I thought it would go a little bit more fluid, and then it would spread out a little bit better. But it's not doing that. Well, it is a little... And for the people that are thinking, ooh, that is quite a really cute little pendant. I'm going to give this one away. Well, uh, you can choose. I'm going to do the other ones. But then you guys get to choose which one you want. And I'll put this one in there too. But i got to make it come right up to the edge. What would really be nice um, when you do this kind of work is one of those lamps with a magnifying glass in it. 
that really helps because you can almost not see what I'm doing I can almost not see what I'm doing okay that's that's looking pretty finished but ah there it goes see that oh I hate it when it does that I'll have to clean it first but the glitter we want a little glitter in the uh, in the sea because it's water so we want a little bit in there that's not enough That looks like enough, but then I'm going to put it in there. Make sure that it's really in the water. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the rain. It's coming down. You, know, That's not normal anymore. Okay. Now I'm going to clean off the side because I see where it's coming over. There it is. Clean it off a little bit. And we're going to pop it in here and let it do its thing. That's it. No shells on the beach today. Sorry about that. And I was going to put a little pearl in there, but I, I'll leave that up to you guys. If you think that is really pretty, you can always put pearls in, in the water or on the beach and tiny little shells. There we go. Now just waiting for this to uh, cure and then it's going to be ready. Now uh, there's uh, another thing um, still about um, all things that has to do with resin. You have a lot of types of resin and there are also very cheap resins. Um, it's, it's a personal thing if you want to uh, use very cheap resin. But what I'd like to uh, really stress is make sure that you wear a respirator when you're working with that kind of resin. This doesn't smell at all. I don't, I, it's not, you know, affecting my eyes, um, nor my throat or my nose or my anything. So. But there are resins where, where you have this really penetrating sort of a smell coming off it. And then it, it sort of gets in your eyes and your eyes start to get a little bit watery. And then when you swallow, you feel like there's something in your throat. People don't do that. If you have that type of resin, wear a respirator. And you really can't just buy any any kind of respirator because... Most of them are for dust, and dust is something else than fumes. So you want to go to a shop where they can really um, tell you which one you need. And um, also they have uh, these extra filters. So when the filter is done, there is a little glitter in there. Then you can put on a new one. See that? There it is. It turned out pretty. I kind of like it for people that really love the beach. A little bit of sand and a little bit like it's water coming on the beach. It's so cute. Okay, so um, let them tell you exactly which respirator you need and then you're good to go. Now, um, another thing. I, I heard about people, they mixed up a full gallon of that stuff because they wanted to cover a lot of canvases with it. And they mixed up the whole gallon at once. You can't do that. No, no, no. Because m the more resin you um, you make at once, the hotter it gets and the faster it cures. So you don't want to do that. If you're putting a resin on top of uh, paintings, do it one by one. Or maybe if you're really experienced, you can do like uh, four, you know, because you know that you're going to be ready before it starts to cure. But be careful with that stuff because it's not like acrylic paint. There's a lot of downsides on the resin. Um, 
Also, when you put your resin on an acrylic painting, and especially when you've used silicone, um, there's a thing that, you know, you have to clean that, you know, I would say 10 times at least, because there's always that little spot of silicone. And if you put your resin layer on top, it's going to separate where the, the little drop of resin is, of uh, silicone was, and it's going to separate, and you're going to be really, really disappointed. Now, there is um, a trick to avoid that, and I have a video about that. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Where's my phone? Oh, here's my phone. Um, I'm going to see if I can, um, on my uh, phone, if I can... Uh, you can see my password. I don't care. <laughs> and that's Dutch, so you can't read that. Um, I'm going to see if I can... Um, open it up here because on my YouTube channel if you're on a computer um, all you really have to do is go beneath it with the information and there is let's see I don't have YouTube and there is a, um, a, a sort of an Excel sheet with all my videos and what you can see in it YouTube okay open it uh, let's see what the best thing I can do and I don't I, do, I don't want to log into my own because then we may not see that uh, let's do Anne Marie Ritterhoff there's my channel okay this is the channel now up here you have this little magnifying glass so when you click on it oops sorry wrong one um, Oh boy, 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 home videos. Oh, you don't. I thought you did. Well, you have the um, the playlists. You do have that. Here you got the videos. But you don't have the little magnifying glass. That is very strange. I didn't know I didn't have that. But up, but up, but up. See, because this is YouTube itself. Hmm. Now I know why you guys can't. Well, let's go to this one. So you play the uh, video, and then you have this little thing here. When you press on it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh. It's that time again. Oh, I please. Think I have to Woman, shut up. I can say that because it's me. Okay. Now underneath you have something somewhere you don't why is this now I understand that you guys can't find stuff oh, this is annoying what's that no don't want that okay you don't have it Grrr. okay what I can do um, under this video, I will put the link to the Excel sheet because there you can see all my videos starting from the first one and it has a little, you know, it has the keywords. So if you want to see a resin video, then you can just do that and uh, click on it and then you see all the little, uh, um, uh, the numbers of the resin videos. Now I've also had someone ask me um, to mention my Instagram sorry about that guys so it's Anne Marie 33 that's my Instagram account so if you're going over to Insta Insta Graham That's it, Anne Marie 33. And you'll see a lot of stuff there, but I'm gonna promise you guys, I'll put in the first comments under this video, I'll put the information that you normally see if you're on a computer. Because on a computer you get all that information and I didn't know that you didn't get it on the mobile. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Uh, I'll be back later with another video. Um, I think I'll be doing something like pouring because I have still have some paint left over from yesterday and it has silicone in it.
So we're going to be doing a one with cells. And I know you guys like that a lot. So see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. Lee boy shala. Bye bye.